Grand rising. Okay, so I just woke up and it's that time of the month. It's moon cycle time. And I was just thinking about how much my moon cycle has changed postpartum. And in this video, I thought I would just share some of the things that are a little bit different postpartum, as well as some of the things that have been beneficial um, to kind of like get myself back on track and to put my body in alignment. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So I'm holding up my phone because I'm in my bathroom right now and it echoes. So I don't want it to echo. I want the audio to be good. Um, but this is my body postpartum. I'm on like my second to last day of my cycle. And yeah, I feel like honestly my cycle, I'm 20 times more bloated than anything. So this is editing me and I'm realizing I missed a huge part. This is the result of the work that I did. So in this video, I'm not bloated OD like I am referencing to. Um, this is about me about five months postpartum. But before this cycle, my cycles were unbearable. I was having headaches to where I had attitude all day because I had an underlying headache. I don't get headaches, period. And I never experienced headaches. Um, before having my son and just the bloating that I experienced about a week before I started my moon cycle was so uncomfortable. I used to be out of breath and just annoyed with everything. Um, so yes, this is the result to the things I will be talking about in this video. Yes, I did experience some bloating discomfort in the cycle that you guys are watching. I just wanted to give you guys background because some of y'all are probably looking like sis bloated wear um my body postpartum just i don't even like to say recover because i don't think you need to recover i don't know i just feel like birth was just so beautiful it's not like something you recover from it's just something that you your body um acclimates to so my body acclimated to being a mother beautifully and i owe that to diet and exercise but i'm i'm i'm, I'm getting way off topic so let me just go ahead and finish this video and we can talk about that later um my body postpartum um has definitely gone through some ups and downs just because once again i keep talking about mastitis but mastitis really try to take me out um Somebody actually commented um, just like the spiritual meaning of the body, um, of the breast specifically, and it might not resonate with you, but every time I feel like I'm out of whack um, and it manifests in my body, I try to ask myself, what about this body part do I need to cleanse and clear so that I can just get flow? Like milk not flowing through my breast to my baby. There was clearly a block there physically. So I'm thinking spiritually, what kind of block do I have that, that's in relation to my breast? That's a whole nother video and I'll get into that later. But um, yeah, my, my body um, definitely healed beautifully postpartum. Um, I did a lot of postpartum baths, um, a lot of salt soaking. Um, and I really feel like it changed the game recently within the last like month, like a month ago when I got a womb stimulation slash Yoni steam at, um, queen by nature in Inglewood. And it definitely like the bloating went down significantly. Um, uh, I have not worked out at all. Let me show you. Um, not that, let me, let me just show you. Hey girl. Skin is getting clear again because I definitely was going through it. Um, but can you see me? Is this too bright? Let me turn the brightness down. Papa, why is your swing squeaking? Okay. Oh, okay. So, okay, so this is my body post-portum. Um, yeah, so I definitely still have, I still have some bloating. Let me see. 
So I definitely have bloating still. Um, but dang, I'm trying to get this speaker right too so I don't mess up the sound. Okay. So I definitely have some bloating still and I have like my little pregnancy pouch, which I'm 100% happy with, but I haven't done any working out whatsoever. But I feel like a few months ago, just with the womb stimulation, it's like it tightened everything up and it just allowed a lot to pass through my body in this cycle. Um, yeah, um, I did do a postpartum yoni steam, but I never did a womb stimulation. And I feel like the difference between my body without working out or anything, I haven't worked out at all. Um, it just really helped release and move um, and allow the whatever was left in my womb to move through my body. Um, and I didn't even have a headache. Um, postpartum, let me put this up now. Postpartum, some of the things that I was dealing with um, when it came to my moon cycle specifically is I got really bad headaches. I never even get headaches on any type of occasion at all. So the first thing I kind of was trying to figure out like, okay, so first off I'm tripping because I'm like, why do I have these damn headaches? Am I sick? What's going on? On every time I feel a little bit unlike myself, I'm like, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Like what's going on? So. Um, the headaches became consistent. Um, I had a fir my first cycle postpartum was fine. My second, third, and fourth, those were where I got really, 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 really bad headaches. And it was just unlike any cycle that I've ever had. Um, sorry, the light is, let me see, let me turn down the light. So, um... So after I got my headache, I tried to do some vitamin and supplement um, nutritional things and that wasn't necessarily working. Whenever, again, I have something that's um, not in alignment with my head, I do a lot of meditation or try to clear my crown chakra. If that doesn't work, then I go to nutrition or sometimes I do it at the same time and I look at certain deficiencies that might cause headaches. So then I try to ramp up those deficiencies, whether it be a certain vitamin or mineral um, or something that didn't work so I'm like okay it has to be something internal and I didn't really think anything of it because I had done um, postpartum soaks as well as yoni steaming and things like that um, for my womb wellness but when I went to Queen by Nature in Inglewood I got a womb stimulation and yoni steam package and to be honest I could have left after the womb stimulation because it was like a massage for your womb um and she helped guide me through just different things that I could do. She said that my uterus, my womb was um, definitely toned postpartum. Um, and she was very impressed with um, me being four months postpartum at the time um, and how well my womb was recovering. But this past cycle that I'm like on my second to last day on um, is like I have almost the same amount of bloating that I had pre-pregnancy and I had no headache in this cycle my body was able to release um a little bit differently and I definitely felt like anything that was lingering in the womb or anything that I wasn't releasing on a spiritual or physical level um definitely got released through this cycle so I'm saying this all to say that if you're going postpartum and you have a different cycle definitely invest into getting your yoni steamed i have never got my yoni steamed outside of my home so it was definitely interesting to kind of see what kind of herb she was using and what she recommended for me postpartum and then the stimul the womb stimulation definitely is my reason for thinking that or as it is what i believe to really help release whatever was causing the headaches for my cycle as well as the extreme bloating i'm gonna go ahead and insert some pictures but the bloating was real so um yeah that's as far as the bloating perspective um oh i got the speaker upside down and i wanted to take a quick little break to remind moms postpartum or ogs in the game to take time for self I have found so much balance and the ability to show up for my son on a high level when I just take 
a moment to myself. That usually means me listening, watching, or engaging into something that uplifts my spirit. As you guys know, I am a longtime partner, supporter, and user of Audible. And right now, for a limited time during the holidays, you can save 46% on your first four months of Audible, and that's only $7.95 a month. Give yourself the gift of listening and recharging and rejuvenating to uplift your spirit. You guys can go to www.audible.com slash findguru or text findguru to 500-500 to try today. The reason I am a huge advocate for this when it comes to being a mom and self-care is sometimes I usually got stuck in my head and the people closest to me were usually the people who got on my nerves the most. <laughs> Love them, but this is just the reality. So when, when I had time to check in with my audiobooks, whether that be something along the lines of um, personal development and self-care or if it was a mom-related book. Just listening to words that uplift me in my current time, giving me space and giving me grace of how I'm feeling currently, always allowed me to come back balanced and ready to show up 100% for other people in my life. So I just, once again, I'm grateful that a lot of you guys resonate with the benefits that Audible can provide to your daily life, and I'm just a huge advocate for it, so yes. Here are some of the audiobooks that I am listening to. And once again, if you are in the postpartum or if you're pregnant or you're wanting to be pregnant, my favorite book is Hands Down Spirit Babies. It's a great listen on Audible and it's new on Audible. So definitely go ahead and check it out. So the last thing I want to talk about is oil stimulations. I would do this pretty much every day. I would take an herbal oil and I would massage it through my womb and in a downward motion. This, for me, um, just increased the flow outward through the body. And I did this every single day, pretty much, even if I didn't feel like putting lotion on my body because you know mom's um, self-care in the beginning. You know, you have to learn how to make it work. Um, but let me see. Massaging your body downward in downward motion with an herbal massage or even an herbal compression will definitely help my body tone up. An herbal massage, um, I don't wear any type of compression. If I'm wearing a compression, it's because I'm wearing leggings like this. And this is what I slept in. So I didn't do any type of um, waist trainer or compression band or anything like that. I just wanted my body to naturally heal and to be honest I liked my little postpartum pouch um, I'll insert pictures of my body through the postpartum phase as well as some clips through the postpartum phase But um, naturally my body just healed I think with great food great nutrition um, Natural things natural things for your natural body to help you do things naturally um so yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any more questions or anything like that, or if there's anything that you did during your postpartum time to help your body naturally heal, or if your moon cycles were out of whack postpartum, what did you do to help you get back into alignment? into a peaceful, blissful, releasing moon cycle because I actually enjoy my moon cycles. But I'll save that for another video or maybe I'll save it for after I get out of the shower. But yes, that's it for today's video right now. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next upload.